Okay, hi, uh, my name is June and I'm going to be reviewing the film Beast of the Southern Wild. This movie was directed by Ben Zeitlin and came out in 2012. Today I'm going to be focusing on aspects of film form present in this movie, specifically the verisimilitude or the appearance of truth. Uh, Beast of the Southern Wild initially has a sense of complete realism, giving the audience the expectation that the film is based solely in realism. This expectation comes from the characters Hush Puppy and Wink and their realistic relationship and interactions with other characters. The location, being a Louisiana Delta, exists in our real world, obviously, and it was filmed on location. Um, everything in this world appears to look, sound, and act like what we experience in the natural world. However, the audience realizes their expectation is false when the Aurochs appear. The narrative constantly switches to these massive horned beasts as the icebergs melt and they run free, eventually coming to find Hush Puppy. While all of the characters in the bathtub and the bathtub itself are sort of extreme versions of things that we find in our world, it isn't until the Aurochs appear that the film gets that sense of anti-realism as well. Um, another example of anti-realism in this movie is when Hush Puppy and her little group of pals swim out into the ocean and find Elysian Fields, which is a floating brothel full of motherly and caring women. The Elysian Fields scene leaves the viewer without a clear sense of whether or not what just happened was real. This feeling is also prominent with the Oryx because they're obviously real to Hush Puppy, but the movie doesn't address if they're actually real to other characters as well. They're used to symbolize Hush Puppy's own fear about losing her father as he becomes more ill and her own growth and maturity, um, and they also directly interact with Hush Puppy, showing that they obviously exist to her. Miss Bathsheba also acknowledges their past existence and claims that they will return when the icebergs melt but it's left up to the viewer to infer if she was predicting the future or if Hush Puppy sort of got this idea from her. Despite the mixing of realism and anti-realism, the movie still achieves a strong sense of verisimilitude from its cinematic language. Most notable is the effect of the handheld camera, which viewers immediately associate with documentaries, because documentaries are thought of as the sort of complete truth throughout film. Um, the viewer automatically associates a sense of truth with this shaky handheld camera. The actors were also untrained and consequently gave a much more realistic performance. Zeitlin also constantly tested the narrative against actual people and places for the truest sense of authenticity and truth in his story. Zeitlin also cited the chaos of the film as it was captured and as it plays out as an important key in the movie's verisimilitude because chaos is present in our everyday lives and seeing it also present in this movie helps it feel more realistic and relatable. Another important thing in this movie is the narrative, which uh, feels more focused on individuals and life sort of as it occurs moment by moment than this overarching long story plot thing. Uh, the repetition of the wild arcs is another very important part of the narrative as they parallel Hush Puppy. When Hush Puppy is actually narrating, what she says is applicable to both her personal life and these huge beasts. Uh, the focus of the narrative and the narration itself also brings a sense of verisimilitude to the film. Uh, but basically all of these aspects of film form, cinematic language, and elements of narrative are important in establishing a believable film that utilizes both realism and anti-realism.